in today's video we are going to talk about dates and how do we work with dates in stata and dates are important because most of us are uh, working with time series or panel data and in some shape we would have to work uh, with uh, with dates right so uh, let's import this data set that i have created for this uh, specific video and you can download this do file and the data sets from the link given in this description uh, so i have loaded this data and let me give you a quick view of this data we have different date variables and these are same dates so we have uh, 13th of january 1996 over here the same goes over here but they are are in different format and what i would like to do is demonstrate different uh, examples like for example you might have different uh, dates uh, settings or date formats and how do you work with with those date formats now one thing that you would note is that all these date formats and uh, are in in red whereas this closing variable this is stock closing prices are in black so we know that it is a numerical variable and we can see from this type over here it suggests it is a float and float means that it is a numerical uh, type variable with some decimal, uh, some digits after decimal points. But if we click on date four, we would see str eight, which stands for string. The same goes for date five, date six, or any other date because they are in red, and you would know that red means uh, it is a string. So Stata is not recognizing them as dates; rather, it is recognizing recognizing these. Uh, as as uh, as text variables and uh, when we are working with dates we would have to either xt set or ts set date so let's say i have this variable date one right this one uh, so i want to uh, set my time series data because it is a time series data and if i do ts set date one i get an error which states that string variables are not va allowed so in this command we can not use a variable that is a string variable that is a text variable it says that date one is a string variable so what we need to do is we need to convert this date one into a format which stata would understand that it is a date uh, variable and for that we use a function which is called date remember it is not a command it is a function now how does this works is let's generate a variable called new date you can give any name that you like then after the equality sign i use the function date and i open the parenthesis now within these set of parentheses i would have to give two parameters one is the name of the variable that i want to convert so in this case i want to convert date one and the second is the format in which the date is written. So if we look at the format, we see that we have day, then we have month, and then we have year. So what we need to do is we need to write D, which stands for day, M, Y. So M stands for month and Y stands for year. And we need to do this within uh, inverted commas. If we do not use inverted commas, it would give an error. So we are telling Stata to generate a new variable uh, and we, we want it to be considered date and the data is coming from the date one and its format had also been given. So if I generate this variable and let me also show it from the data window, you would see that a new variable had been generated. It is in black color, which suggests that it is an integer or, or rather a numeric value. Dates are also in, in black format, which is a sort of numerical variable. But uh, we cannot understand this, uh, this new date variable. I mean, is it uh, 1st of January 1996 or some other date? And what we can do is we can uh, change the formatting. So the date wouldn't change. If you click over here, the date wouldn't change. The value would remain the same. but its format, its format for the human eyes would change. So, so static perfectly understand this. If you leave it like this, it doesn't, a Stata wouldn't have an issue. But for us humans, we would have to convert it into a way that uh, humans can read. 
so i use format so i am going to use the format command which would format the new va date variable and the format that i'm go going to give it is uh, percentage sign td which stands for the days right if i had month then i would use tm now it converts it into uh, the format that we can understand it's 13th of january 1996 right and you can see it's 22nd of january 2020 so we have correctly converted the dates but what if we didn't want it in this format not in the td format some other formats for that we can uh, Let's uh, click over here and uh, uh, not this date one, rather this variable. You can see that it is now float and its format is TD. So if I wanted to change the format, one thing you would have to do is you would have to unlock these properties. If you do not have these properties window, you can click over here and click on properties and this window would appear over here. So let me close this. If this is what you have, then the properties window would appear. So open this uh, lock sign and you would see that you would you'd get these uh, three dots over here with the format uh, option. If you click over here, you have uh, different options over here, type of data. So it is numerical or clock or daily or weekly. So our data is daily. So I click on daily and I want the the presentation to be similar to what we have over here so 13th slash 01 slash 1996 uh, so let me see if uh, some uh, format matches this one uh, okay so this one would match the format that we currently have so we have day then month then year i click ok and if i can see the format is exactly what we have over here it is not necessary that you convert this format into this way but just in case if you needed that and a command would be generated so this is the command that uh, can be used in future okay so that was uh, one way so we have seen more display formatting uh, from the property windows and uh, if you click on now new date you wouldn't see just the uh, percentage td you would also see the full format uh, of this variable so we are done with uh, date one, but in date two, the same date had been written in different way. We first have year, then we have the month, and then we have the date. Uh, the, uh, we would use the same command, so generate. This time, let's change the name of the variable. Let's call it date two, because we cannot generate the same variable. Then we use the date function, and we take the data from the date two variable and the only thing that would change is the the way the data the date had been uh, uh, written over here so we know that first we have the year then we have month then we have day right and if i execute this we get the date but it isn't formatted so we use format new date two and then the format uh, that we want to use it then in uh, the date three we have a different set of formatting we first have the the day then we have month but this time month is written in uh, not in numerical form but rather in text form and then we have the year again we just have to deal with this uh, uh, this parameter of this date function so we have dmy it is the same as date one we get the date and we change the format. So I'm demonstrating different ways that you can uh, get the date from the data set. Now this one is tricky, date four. You can see that we just have two ending digits and we do not have century. So uh, whether it is 1996 or 1896 or 2006, it isn't clear from here. So if I were to use uh, the gen new date for then the date function and now i am going to use uh, date for we know that it is dmy uh, day month year but if i execute this stata would just give me missing values because stata cannot understand what century we are in so the way we are going to work with this is let's create a new variable we are going to use the same uh, settings but this time 
we would give a century over here before the uh, Y alphabet, before the year alphabet. So we would give the century that our whole data is related to. So let's just say if this whole data was related to the 20th century, uh, then we would just write, uh, sorry, 21st century, then we would write 20 over here. If it was related to 20th century, then we would write uh, 19 obviously over here. But if I execute this command, and let me also format this variable, you would see that we get 13 January 2096, because what it is doing is we are saying over here that before Y, before the year, write 20 right because that is the century we think we are in but that is incorrect so the way to work with this is use the third parameter with the uh, with the date command and let me show you from the help menu of the date function so we go help date and you can see that we have three functions we have s1 s2 and then within brackets we have y and we know brackets are optional so what this S1, um, so, so what this Y is used for, it is used for the maximum uh, year that we are going to have in our data set, right? So this is uh, written over here, Y provides an alternate way of handling two years year. This is the issue that we just had. When a two year year is encountered, the largest year, top year, that is, uh, that does not exceed y is returned. So, so we use y, that is the maximum year. So you can go over uh, to the uh, command window again. So this time we know that our maximum year is 2020. So if we use 2020, uh, it wouldn't go above 2020. It wouldn't go towards 2096. So uh, let me execute this, create a new variable and you can, uh, let me format this so we can see it. So we have 1996 and then we have 2020. But what if I use the largest year as 1996, right? Uh, format it. You'd see that what it would do is it would uh, give this, because la largest year is 1996, so we cannot go beyond 1996. So this one is correct. But what happens with the 2020, it converts it into uh, 1920 because we just said that the largest year is 1996. But this third parameter is only required if your data, if the year in your data if in dates is just two digits. Other than that, you would not need uh, this third parameter. Okay. Sometimes you also get the uh, day, uh, like Saturday or Sunday or etc. with your date. And if, if that is the case with, uh, with you, and if you are just going to use DMY, let me demonstrate this, uh, then you would get uh, empty cells, right? So let me drop this variable that we just created, drop new date eight, so we can again create it. So the way to work with uh, this is use the hash sign and what this hash means is ignore anything that is before dmy right so the day starts over here after the comma and before comma there is one uh, word which uh, is uh, what we i have represented over with the hash sign so ignore anything that is that comes before uh, dmy right So it works perfectly fine. We have converted it correctly. What if we had date six and the rest of the data had been written correctly, but now we have uh, hours and months and seconds, and then we have AM, PM. We can again use this same command and then we would have to use the hash sign after the year because whatever comes after year, just ignore those values. So some with, with some versions of Stata, you would have to write multiple hash signs. So uh, that depends on how many values there are. So we have, let's just say four values, then we would have to use four hash sign. But in Stata 17, I guess that is not an issue. That would work with just one hash. 
so let me create and format this and you can see that it had been converted just ignore the 1996 because i just had this data of just for 1996 this specific date okay so let me drop all these things and just keep new date and closing uh, prices so we can uh, have a clear data to work with so we just have new date it is in date format right and then we have closing prices okay so sometimes you would want to extract the year or the month or the day from the date so we know this is the date but we want strata to just create a new variable where it would just extract the year from this date the way we are going to do this is we are going to generate a new variable let's call it year you can give it any name then we are going to use the year function and then uh, so extract this year this is what this function is saying extract year from this date variable right the name of the variable that stores the date so it extract the year then we can extract month so use month function we can also extract day so we use the day function and we get year month and days and sometimes like i was working with some data and we didn't have this e uh, this date but rather we had year month and days separately in three different columns so uh, so sometimes you can get this data and you would have to merge you would want to merge those data to create a single date variable and to do that you can combine year month and days using mdy function remember again it is a function okay so what mdy functions would do it it would take three parameters it would uh, we would have to tell them where the month is stored where the date day is stored and where the year is stored so these are just the name of the variable if you had created a different name variable then you would write that specific over here so let's just say if you had this year right if you had created a variable by the name of this year then you would write this year over here so we generate a new variable called date use mdy function so we combine month day year whether we should write year day or month or month day year that that comes from the syntax of mdy and if i can give, give you the quick overview of mdy it says write mdy and within uh, parentheses you would first have to give the month then day then year so if you forget what should be the syntax you can quickly help mdy so we have this and again we would have to format this and we can that get the same uh, dates over here okay now sometimes we need to use date as a condition so let's say if i want to summarize just for the date uh, if the year if the date is greater than 1st of january 2020 in that case if i do it like this let's just say if i copy this command let me paste it over here and if i just uh, let's just say copy this from this here and if i say that if date is greater than this it would throw an error because it is an invalid even if i use the inverted commas that would not work so so there should be a way where i can uh, tell stata that uh, summarize or perform certain commands if a date is greater than or less than specific date uh, to uh, for that we would also have to use the mdy function so let's say i want uh, to summarize if date is greater than or equal to uh, first of uh, first of so the, so the the day comes in the middle first of january 2020 this is how mdy function works so we get uh, the summary statistics for just 140 observations remember we have 153 observations but we skipped 13 observations because these 13 observations are the ones that are uh, where the date is less than first of january 2020 right or if we were to use a year so let's just say we want to summarize if year is greater than uh, or equal to 2020 then obviously we would have to generate year variable and then we would we can use that within the summarize command 
Okay. So lastly, uh, there are three sets of command that uh, I'm going to show you or three functions rather. Sometimes we need to generate week of the year. So generate week year. So we use WFD function and we give the name of the date variable. Uh, so what it would do is it would give us uh, week of the year. So but, but it isn't formatted correctly. So we would use format name of the variable. But this time instead of using TD, we are using TW because it's uh, weekly data or rather we want, we have weeks over here. So it would give us second week of 1996, third week of 1996 and so on and so forth. So it is week of the year, right? So it give us the weeks and not just the weeks, but uh, at the same times the years as well. If we wanted to have a month of the year, then we use MOFD. So generate month year, MOFD date, and we would format it using TM. Right, so first month, then we have first month 2020, second month, third month 2020, you can see over here. This is March uh, 16th, right? But it won't show us the date, it would just show us the month or a week, right? Then we can have quarters, we use QOFD, and then we format it using TQ. You get first quarter of 2020, and remember after, uh, you know, from fourth, month which is april we have the second quarter so we get q2 and we can have many more functions that can generate variables related to date and what we can uh, do is we can click on uh, uh, data uh, then we create a new variable create a new variable and if i come over here contents then we have different functions and within these functions we have date and these are tons of uh, functions that we haven't used what we have used uh, till now is uh, the date function then i have used the day function then uh, uh, then i have used mdy functions but there are multiple functions that you can use what i have used are the mostly used functions so I hope uh, it was useful. Uh, do subscribe to this channel and do hit the bell icon. And thanks for watching the video.